Check one, two, one, two, one, two. And now, where indie music comes alive. Broadcasting live worldwide, plus on demand 24 7, and hosted by Hall of Fame personality Dave Pratt. N987. The World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Breaking the sound barrier with your Top 10 Weekly from WorldMusicStage.com. And now, house lights down. Music up. Now entering the World Music Stage. Your host for the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Dave Pratt. Yes, welcome to the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. We are all about indie music. We're all about the up-and-coming artists that make the music, and we're all about the fans that support indie artists and indie music. And best of all, we get to play a part in making dreams come true. How about that? WorldMusicStage.com. 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 From the internet to social media, We are bringing exciting musical talent from all around the world straight to your playlist with a download that directly supports the artist. And again, it's worldmusicstage.com. Hey, thanks to World Music Stage founders Grant and Jay Knoll. I'm your host, Dave Pratt, along with my 35-year producer, Rob Trigg. Look, we've been blessed to play on the biggest fields of music radio for over three decades now. And in all honesty, we've never seen a more impressive, high-tech, and interactive music site than worldmusicstage.com. I sincerely mean that. I, I've turned down offers over the years to host countdown shows, to host music shows, because I truly haven't believed in the product. This one I do. Worldmusicstage.com is awesome. It's the future. We're going to be counting down the top 10 every Saturday, and then, of course, the show will be on demand worldwide all week. Look, it's 2016. Is much fun as live radio is, and oh yeah, we'll be live with the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. It's an on-demand world. Listen at a time that's convenient for you. And to select the top songs weekly for the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, we use internal stats from worldmusicstage.com for a number of plays and activity for an artist profile, other important metrics. There is a science behind it. Basically, here's the deal. The more the artist and their fans are active on World Music Stage, the more the artist gets visibility and gets heard by fans. And in turn, the top 10 songs weekly are presented worldwide right here on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. So, let's get started. World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Song number 10. And here we go. May Tatro is from Daytona Beach, Port Orange, Florida. And get this, she's only 16 years old. Come on. May found a love for music and performing at the age of five. Her grandfather gave May her first guitar, and they would sit on the porch while he was teaching her to play. How special is that? By age 10, May had joined a live performance group in Orlando, Florida, and quickly fell in love with being on stage. Why? Because she loved seeing smiles in the crowd. May is currently performing all over Central Florida. She's also been working on more releases in the studio. And here is May at number 10. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, this is May with Let It Go. From walking home and talking loads Seeing chants and eating clothes with you Love is touch and getting drunk To staying up and waking up with you And I 
I was slipping on the edge, holding something we don't need. All this delusion in our heads is gonna bring us to our knees. So come on, lady, go. Just say defeat. Why don't you be you when I be me? Everything that's broke, leave it to the breeze. Why don't you be you when I be me? To teeth and clothes and slamming doors at you. If this is all we're living for, why are we doing it, doing it, doing it anymore? I used to recognize myself. It's funny how reflections change. And we're becoming something else. I think it's time to walk away. So come on, lady, go, oh, oh, just say it be. Why don't you be you when I be me? Everything that's broke, oh, oh, leave it to the Trying to fit your hand inside of mine When we know it just don't belong There's no force on earth could make me feel right, no Whoa. Trying to push this problem up the hill When it's just too heavy to hold Now I think it's time to let it slide So come on, let it go Just let it be Why don't you be you? be me everything that's broke leave it to the breeze let the ashes fall forget about me so come on lady go just let it be why don't you be you we not be me That would make any grandfather proud, huh? Yeah. May Tatro and let it go. Number nine. World Music Stage Radio. Top ten countdown. Song number nine. You know, if you think about it, some of the biggest artists in history have gone by one name. Can you think of some? Elvis. You ever heard of him? Prince. Some girl named Madonna. Some other chick named Cher. Morrissey. Who knows? This native Detroit artist who has roots in Brooklyn may be next. The soulful sounds off Lexi's debut LP Rhythm Lotus are in rotation in seven different countries and helped in her getting the title for R&B Female of the Year at the 2013 Georgia Music Awards. In fact, she was also nominated for Female of the Year and once again for R&B Female of the Year for 2014 and 2015 and released a new LP, In My Skin, just last year. Off that LP, here is Lexi at number nine on the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown with Inamorata. Oh, 
I know my wife and daughter will both be downloading that song on <laughs> worldmusicstage.com. If you love these songs, and I know you do, support the artist. Download them on worldmusicstage.com. That's what worldmusicstage.com is all about. That is Lexi with Inamorata, number eight. World Music Stage Radio, top ten countdown, song number eight. Stevie Beats. Perfect name for one of the top drummers in the industry, don't you think? When he was only 15, his teen R&B band, Devotion, had a top 20 Billboard dance hit. And what were you doing at 15? (laughs) Hey, his solid Bronx drumming backbeat has powered several big-name acts such as Sarah Dash of LaBelle and more. In fact... He was also a drummer for platinum vocalists such as Natalie Cole. Extensive world touring has brought him to many large venues all over the world. And during that time, he shared the stage with many classic funk bands, including Cool and the Gang, Chic, the Isley Brothers, the Gap Band. All right. Stevie is a multi-talented songwriter, producer, even producing music for the major Nintendo 64 video games. Uh, my producer give me the thumbs up. Yeah, Stevie Beats. <laughs> Stevie is also the CEO of his music label on Rota Music Works, which has many new releases produced and composed by Stevie and his wife, vocalist Lori Rose. At number eight on the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown, here is Stevie Beats with Beats. <laughs>
Seriously, man, I can't believe it. Hey, you guys had a good time, right? Yeah, we had a good time, man. Good time, good time. Good time, good time. Good time. What you gonna do? Sagita, New York Latin Rock featuring Stevie Beats. Hold on, I'm making a note. Another one to download off world <laughs> off worldmusicstage.com. All right, let's move on to number seven. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 countdown. Song number seven. This is fun, huh? I love it. It's a good time. From the city of brotherly love, Philly. Smashbox Symphony. They've been compared to acts like Queen and One Republic. This group's powerful sound hits on themes ranging from love, fame, to fortune, to life, and more. With the release of their first album, One, Smashbox Symphony has emerged out of sheer love of all things musical and theatrical. At number seven on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Phillies Smashbox Symphony with Mr. Shakedown. It takes one mistake, then regret is everything. You just can't tell when the hand is fake. Sat down at the table, saw the dealer, he looked able. I'll take two, and then I'll. Full of money, got no time left to wait. Please sit down, the drink's on me. King fish at the table, hands shaking and ball left stable. Johnny took two, the king took three. Lady.
just can't tell when the hand is fake. Number seven, Philly's own Smashbox Symphony and Mr. Shakedown. Number six, World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number six. You know, just a few years ago, Nikki Chris released her first single, My Christmas Wish. It was followed by her debut album release, The Soul Laced I Come Alive. Both releases went on to achieve radio success, and several tracks from I Come Alive made the final ballot for the Grammy Awards. Whoa! They were also featured in TV shows. Nikki's on the line probably from her home in North Carolina. Nikki, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing? Well, great. Congratulations on your success. Oh, thank you. Nikki, you've written songs for TV shows. If you could pick one other TV show to write a song for, what would it be? What's your favorite television show? Ooh, I'm a criminal minds buff. <laughs> Is there a lot of money in writing songs for television? Um, there's, yeah, I guess if you have a lot of placements, there is. Um, it depends. I think um, people probably like myself who do write a lot of songs, you can do quite well if you get a lot of placements. Um, that tends to be where a lot of the uh, money is these days. You know, think about it. If you think about it, there's music everywhere. Commercials, yeah. TV shows. Video games. You know, video yeah. games, movies. So, yes. So I guess you could make quite a bit of change if you're quite active. You know, I've always been curious about writing scores for television or movies. What's the process, Nikki? Do you know what you're writing for, or do they find you and just like one of your songs? It's it's both. Um, the ones that I've had placed so far, I've just been lucky enough where, uh, you know, through a couple companies that I work with, they like the music and, and used it. And then there's also... Um, sites like Taxi and Broad Jam where you could technically go out there and see what they're looking for and write something specifically for a, you know, a request that they have. Well, I'll tell you, Nikki, you are crushing it on worldmusicstage.com. Talk about your newest single, You've Got a Hold on Me. So that was a little obsession that I had with um, Fifty Shades of (laughs) Grey. Um, I like you. I like you already, Nikki. <laughs> you are my new best friend. <laughs> you like that, don't you? Too bad um, this isn't a video interview. Yeah, there you go. Fifty Shades of Dave. Okay. And that's awesome. I love that. <laughs> um, you know, I I sometimes get into these um, little writing spurts where if I've I've read something or if I'm listening to a certain type of music, um, you know, just stuff pops into my head and and the end result usually is some type of song or some resemblance of, of a song. Um, and that's what happened with this one. I actually was on a writing binge um, and just kind of wanted to take things from a different perspective from what the movie show and what the first three books actually um, didn't go that deep into uh, the male character's mind and 
I kind of came up with this little love story in a song, you could say. Yeah, being a gentleman, I, I still don't understand Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm on Pitch Perfect. That's what I'm watching. Ah, <laughs> that's a good one, too. <laughs> Uh, congratulations on You've Got a Hold on Me, and everybody download this on worldmusicstage.com. At number six on the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown, the Pride of North Carolina, here is Nikki Chris, and You've Got a Hold on Me. Something buried deep inside of me. Feelings I've kept hidden far. So long Drawn together by fate Chance encounter Running late Change direction We collide Face to face Side by side Desire 
Wow. I think God reached down and slapped that girl on the throat. <laughs> what do you think, huh? Nikki Chris, and a sweetheart as well from North Carolina. It just makes you want to watch Fifty Shades of Grey, doesn't it? All right, moving on in the countdown, number five. World Music Stage Radio. Top ten countdown. Song number five. So every week as we do this countdown, we'll learn a little bit more about each other. I will tell you that for eight to ten years of my career, I was blessed to be in country radio. In fact, little Dirk Bentley grew up across the street from me. Little pain in the butt, always bugging me for either Alabama or Van Halen tickets. (laughs) But I love country. I always have. Well, this Southern California American country singing bad boy, this American country singer has a songwriting debut album titled Ups and Down. And Jason Glenn with Ups and Downs is on the line with us. Jason, how you doing? Great. How you guys doing? Good. You checking in from California? Yes, sir, I am. <laughs> Where at in California? Um, I'm actually uh, in Chino Hills. Okay, so kind of the L.A. area, correct? No, yeah, in between L.A. and San Diego, so I'm right there in the middle. All right, Jason, I was just mentioning my love for country music, and it seems like everybody who loves country music was influenced by somebody a generation before him. For you, it's Tim McGraw. Talk about that. Well, you know, Tim McGraw, George Strait, Joe Diffie. Uh, I, I basically got started listening to country with George Strait, and then Tim McGraw came up, you know, really came heavy. And it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny story because um, my my dad actually told me, hey, you know, you can do Tim McGraw impersonation, and I can get you uh, I can get you a gig, but you have to sing for an hour straight. And I said, you're crazy. <laughs> And so uh, I started doing these little small shows um, as a Tim McGraw tribute artist. And sure enough, right after that, I got sent all over the country, Wyoming, North Dakota. And I started doing Tim McGraw more and more. And one of the things that really got me was I I sang for a a group of Down Syndrome kids. And for that brief moment, I, I was their rock star. And... From that moment on, I knew this is what I have to do. And so I was doing that. So that's what kind of got me in the niche of singing in front of thousands of people doing that. So I was able to sneak in my own original songs, which uh, Don't Leave Me On was the first song I wrote in 2010. And, you know, everything with my relationships had been nothing but chaos. So all my songs on my album, which is called Ups and Downs, is basically that ups and downs of all the all the relationships. So when I do a Tim McGraw show, um, I actually get to sneak in my originals and stuff my CDs, and that's kind of how it all intertwined. Love it. Your daughter's kind of encouraged you with the name Ups and Downs, correct? Yeah, she did. She actually kind of laughed because she said, <laughs> "You know, with all the BS you've been through with your relationships, you should title your your album Ups and Downs because." <laughs> That's exactly what you've been through. I mean, look at the songs. I mean, song titles, Don't Lead Me On. Um, That's actually happened to me several times. Uh, Gone Too Long, um, Down to the Bone, and and, uh, I'm Getting Gone. (laughs) You know, uh, is this the beginning of the end? So there's every song on my album has based on the nonsense of my relationship. And then Bad Boy comes along. Bad Boy is the icing on the cake if you will it's uh i don't give a crap attitude um you know if they're gonna like me they're gonna like me if not i don't care because i'm a bad boy <laughs> you know after about four shots it doesn't matter what my name is because you're gonna just say bad boy because that's all it's gonna matter at the end of the day I that's what uh, when i wrote that song that's what that song's about <laughs> is that your dog barking in the background a dog? I thought I heard a dog barking in the background. I was going to say that would officially be our first dog on the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> if and, I have a dog in my car, I don't know about. <laughs> and by the way, Jason, you know how you tell when you have a really great Tim McGraw impersonation? You start attracting Faith Hills. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown. Jason Glenn at number five with Bad Boy. Oh, no. 
number five, Jason Glenn with Bad Boy. And, you know, Nashville is where a lot of these artists, you know, go to. So Jason Glenn over in California, Southern California, there in Chino Valley, he might make his way to Nashville. And now we move on to an artist who is uh, a Nashville transplant at number four. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number four. A Nashville transplant. Yep, Music City transplant from Dallas, Texas. Shaylee Simeon is an indie pop artist with lyrics of really brave transparency. Jump started by her father's musical leanings. She began with a guitar, empty notebook, and all of the heartache of a teenage girl. Sounds like Taylor Swift. Everybody thought she's going to write songs about that. And look at her. She's one of the biggest selling artists of all time. I can see some comparisons here. Finding a way to express herself has always been a struggle but a necessity. And while studying to be a family counselor, Simeon found herself leading her worship community through song. And with a few degrees, you know, a couple shows played, got a couple shows under her belt, she knew what she wanted to do. And then here it comes. She took a dive headfirst into Nashville. Now, volume one of Simeon's first full-length album, For the Love of the Sea, is available this summer. And you can download this on worldmusicstage.com. At number four on the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown, Shaylee Simeon with Oh, Let Go.
Shaylee Simeon with Oh, Let Go. You can download that on worldmusicstage.com. And believe it or not, that brings us to the top three. World Music Stage Radio. Top ten countdown. Song number three. Oh, let's go across the jolly old seas because this is World musicstage.com meaning the entire world so we're going to take it England the pride of Yorkshire England at the age of 8 Chantel McGregor became the youngest person in the country to pass a rock school exam at 12 a rock school this is like Jack Black school of rock <laughs> right she was jamming in her native England and evolving into an incredible musician at only 14 years old Chantel was told by major labels that well she had a great voice but Girls don't play guitar like that. What? Well, wisely ignoring that advice, she enrolled at the world-renowned Leeds College of Music to become the first student in the college's history to achieve a 100% pass mark with 18 distinctions. Yeah, so much for the experts, right? She left with a first-class honors degree in popular music. Chantel since stepped out in the pro-musician world, and good thing she did. She is clearly heading in the right direction, having been invited to perform on stage by Joe Bonamassa. Wow. With him on two tours in the U.K. so far, Chantel's debut album, Like No Other, was produced by Livingston Brown, who has worked with such artists as, oh, geez, Tina Turner, Brian Ferry, Robin Trower, Bill Withers. At number three on the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown, Chantel McGregor with Not Here With Me. Not me. 
kind of want to reach through worldmusicstage.com and give her a hug, don't you? Whew, that's talent. Chantel McGregor with Not Here With Me brings us to our top two, number two. World Music Stage Radio. Top ten countdown. Song number two. Well, number two, let's stay in the jolly old UK. Lux Lane. Lux Lane is a solid rock band of talented musicians who have come together with a a heavy guitar-driven sound and, and riveting lyrics. All band members have brought their own original ideas and unique styles to the band, not just one, all of them. And the album is a new someone. At number two on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Lux Lane with The Pathway.
Uh, it's the British Invasion of WorldMusicStage.com. And that brings us to number one. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number one. You know, I think most everybody agrees that the best songs are written from the human experience, from a personal experience. Well, Nathan Brumley went hiking. Yeah, hiking. Following high school, he spent his formative years as a contractor building recreational trails to high mountain lakes and fishing parks in the heart of the Rocky Mountains of Idaho. Shortly after finishing his last season of trail building, Nathan won Embassy Music's National Songwriting Contest, which led to his move from Boise, Idaho to Nashville, Tennessee. Nathan's a writer for the Songs of Love organization, which writes customized songs for kids with terminal illnesses. He's had three songs picked up by Warner Brothers Telepictures Music, and he's been the artist of the month for him. His film placements include Life Unexpected, The Young and the Restless, Nickelodeon's Hollywood Heights, Surprise Homecoming, and Palisades Pool Party. His music is clearly remindful of piano-banging crooners like like David Gray and Ben Folds Five. And uh, Gavin DeGraw, that's who it reminds me of. Topping the chart this week at number one on the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown, Nathan Brumley and his Shang Remix. I've been wandering blind with indifferent eyes through the maze of the world. I've been longing to find a better way to survive and try to make this work. I'll tell you right now, I'm going to go to worldmusicstage.com and download that because I'm a fan as well. That is a song I want to work out to. I want it on my iPod. I would pay to see that man in concert right now. It's the first time I've heard it. 
thanks to World Music Stage. See, I'm a fan just like you, and that's why I'm so proud to host this show. Nathan Brumley and his Shang remix. That is the first number one on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. So there they are. Yeah, the first Top 10 in the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Heard every week right here on Star Worldwide Networks. This week, go to worldmusicstage.com to hear the greatest indie music in the world and to support your favorite indie artists. I'm Dave Pratt, and hey, if you don't deserve it, who does? Thanks for listening to the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Breaking the sound barrier with your top 10 weekly from worldmusicstage.com. Join us where indie music comes alive at worldmusicstage.com. That's worldmusicstage.com.